Okay, let's do assignment uh, three, which is adding vectors. Uh, part one, we're going to be adding vectors. Uh, obviously, we'll do part two a little later. Okay, uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to learn how to add vector quantities. And this is purely math today. But we need to be able to add vectors together uh, in order to do physics problems that we're going to do later on. Because a lot of quantities are vectors, things that we've already used like displacement and you know position, velocity, acceleration. But later on, we're going to get to force and momentum an electric field and so there are a lot of quantities that are expressed as vectors and we're going to add them together and we need to know how to do that so let's uh, take a look at uh, this three plus four and equals seven now you learned how to do this many years ago ten years ago or so when you were kindergarten or first grade and in fact, you have three plus four and other math facts like that memorized. But this plus sign right here is actually what's called in mathematics an operator. That is, it is a symbol that tells you what to do, that gives you a procedure to follow. When you were in the first grade, you, this said, hey, make three dots and then make four dots now, count how many dots you have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's why three plus four equals seven. So in other words, this plus sign told you what to do with these two numbers. It gave you a procedure to follow. Now, since then, you've probably neglected the procedure and you just memorize the, uh, the, the math facts. But uh, this is, in fact, what's going on when we add. Well, now though, we're going to add two numbers together where it's not so easy to go 3 plus 4 uh, and get 7. Well, I'm now going to tell you that 3 plus 4 uh, can equal 7, yes, but I'm also going to give you a situation where 3 plus 4 will equal 5, and I will give you a situation where 3 plus 4 equals 1. Now, what the heck? Okay, don't take this home to your parents and, and you know claim there's some kind of malpractice going on here. Because really what 3 and 4 are going to be, they're going to be the magnitudes of vectors. And we're going to add vectors together. Uh, and so that is a different procedure. When you're adding, ve adding vectors, it's a slightly different procedure than when you're adding uh, quantities together that are not vectors, that are, in fact, what we call scalars. So let's, let's take a look at when 3 plus 4 equals 7 when it's a vector. Well, let me give you two vectors. Vector A will look like this. It will have 1, 2, three units of length long. They could be centimeters or meters or whatever you want. And then vector B, let's make vector B is equal to four units. So there's vector B. So this is uh, four units long and this is three units long. Now when you add vectors together, Here's what you do. Here's what the operator is telling you to do with those two vectors. When you have A plus B. This plus sign now means something different than it did before. It says, okay, here's what you're going to do. You're going to take vector A, and then you're going to take vector B and hook it up to vector A uh, so that they are head to tail, so that the the arrow, or the, or the head of A, is hooked up to the tail of B. So the arrow part, I'm going to call that the head of the vector, 
and where the vector starts that's going to be the tail and it is basically saying take vector a so I'm going to do this I'm going to rewrite vector a one two three there's vector a and I'm going to hook up vector B. I'm going to hook the tail of vector B up to the head of vector A. So I'm going to move this over here. And here's vector B, where it's one, two, three, four units long. I have now added the two vectors together. I have hooked them up, the, the head of A to the tail of B. Now the result of this is called the resultant vector and it starts where A starts and it ends where B ends and I'm going to call this vector R so I'm going to say in fact I'm going to say R is equal to adding vector A and B together and we get another vector and now what is the magnitude of this vector one two three four five six seven it's equal to seven now the reason why a plus a which was three and b which was four add up to seven is because what's true about vector a and b they are in the same direction so if you have two vectors a and b that are in the same direction yeah, you could just add their magnitudes together. But what if vector A and B are in different directions? What if, uh, what if we have this situation? Let's say A is the same as we had before. So one, two, three units long. But now vector B is going to be straight up and down. So one, two, three, four units long. Now if I go A plus B, um, I'm going to follow that same procedure. I'm going to hook up vector A and vector B head to tail. So here's vector A, one, two, three. And here's vector B, one, two, three, four units long. And here's my result. It's different than what we had before. Remember, the result of adding two vectors is to start where you where you know with the, the tail of vector A and end with the head of vector B. And it looks like that. I'm sorry, this is B right here. And this is our resultant vector. And notice, in this case, that vector B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units long. Well, they make a triangle, don't they? A 3, 4, 5 triangle. So here's an example of how 3 plus 4 equals 5. Finally, If vector A looks like this, one, two, three, but now vector B looks like this, but now it's in the opposite direction. When I go A plus B, well, we follow that same procedure. We rewrite vector A, one, two, three units long. Then we put the tail of vector B where the head of vector A is, and then I draw vector B. And I don't want to draw one on top of the other because you can't see, but one, two, three, four units long. And you can see that if we start where A started and end where B ends, we get a vector R that's equal to one. Of course, it's in the negative X direction. So this is how you add vectors together. You hook them up head to tail. 
and see what you get.